All right then, what is going on in cars this week? Okay, so a mere 14 years after Nissan made this family crossover thing and changed the car landscape completely, Alfa Romeo has decided to have a go. It really is amazing that Alfa is always in the shit, isn't it? Alfa has finally admitted that it's gonna bin off the Giulietta hatchback and it's gonna replace it with this, the Tonale. Tonal, Tonal, I don't know how we pronounce it. And it's bound to be successful because it's based on the Jeep Renegade. Still, could be worse. Alpha could be Vauxhall, who this week has announced that it's updating the Vec, the Insignia. But, right, before you get all sniffy, know this. All the diesel engines are <clears throat> fully R2D2 compliant. Fully RDE2 compliant. And if you don't know what that is, it means they're all exempt from the 4% BIK surcharge. <laughs> Other than that, it's got brighter headlights, but each buyer will get to choose a free gift. They can either have a carriage clock, a Parker pen, or a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Nice. Probably a blue passport as well. Speaking of the insignia, you can now bring your riveting motorway life into the comfort of your front room with the release of this on PS4. Yes, that's Autobahn Police Simulator 2. Good afternoon. What's happened here? Can't you see? The tire is flat. How did that happen? There was a board with nails in it. Have you called a towing service? Yes. Vehicles include a police car and a police van, and there is a very detailed character creation thing, so you can finally have the moustache you've always dreamed of. But much more importantly than all that, it finally gives you the chance to ruthlessly administer fixed penalties to middle lane twats for the entirety of the coronavirus lockdown. Therefore, it's the best $24.99 you'll ever spend. Ta -ta. You. Ride. Tell you. Ride. It's World Car of the Year. Let's all sing it. Tell you. Ride. Tell you. Ride. It's World Car of the Year. <laughs> nope, I hadn't heard of it either, which is probably why I'm not on the World Car of the Year judging panel. But the Kia Telluride is the World Car of the Year. Now, there is a good reason you can't get it in the UK. It is massive. It's longer than a Range Rover and it is powered by a 3.8 litre V6 petrol engine so it's no wonder you can't get it over here. Still it bodes well for the big Kia that you can buy here, the Sorento, which was due at the Geneva Motor Show before it got cancelled because of this whole COVID-19 shit show. You'll be able to buy it very soon, assuming you have any plans to buy another new car ever, which you probably don't. Data for March showed that new car sales figures were at their lowest level since the late 90s. Yet another reason why the clock is ticking on my career. Mind, I'm not the only one burying my head in the sand when it comes to the whole car thing. Look at this thing, an Audi RS6 tuned by Abd. Ab, Abd? Ab, Abd? Ab, Abd? 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 Anyway, it's got 740 horsepower and it costs about 200,000 pounds. Who's gonna buy that? Still, I suppose it's a nice bit of escapism, right? And we all need that sort of thing right now. It's quicker than a Lamborghini Huracan and it will carry much more toilet roll. So that's good. But if that's all a bit too vulgar, a bit too carbon fibery, how about this? A car with a vegan interior. Vegan interiors is a big topic for Polestar and here in the precept we use recycled PET bottles to produce the yarn for our seat. Yep, this thing, the Polestar precept concept, there's a tongue twister for you, <laughs> builds on the vegan foundations of the Polestar 2. Mm -hmm. Not literally, hopefully, I don't think avocado is the most rigid material for a chassis, but the interior is made from recycled bottles and fishing nets and cork. And part of the chassis are made from a material called, get this, power ribs. <laughs> Probably could have called it something a little bit less condomish. Although having said that, picking someone up for a first date in a car with a vegan interior is probably the best form of contraception there is. Other news, Caterham has released a brand new car that is designed to reflect the glamour of motoring in the 70s, but minus the drawbacks. Now that is an actual quote from the press release, which I don't really understand because there was literally no glamour in the 70s, just a lot of body hair and a lot of bin bags. Anyway, you can have a car from the 70s for 35 grand and it'll come in a big box for you to build yourself. Seems like a good deal. 
And finally, with all this time on their hands, the car manufacturers are now donating money or building stuff to help the fight against COVID-19. Vauxhall and Seat are making ventilators, and Jaguar Land Rover and Aston Martin have both said they're making reusable face masks. Loads of good stuff going on, and all jokes aside, that is absolutely brilliant. So well done to the car companies. And that's that. Stay safe, people. I'll see you next week when I'm going to be reviewing an Audi RS6. So a lot like Abitur, I too am going to just pretend that this whole thing isn't happening and we're just going to a better, more simple time. February. See you soon for that. Okay, bye. Why do we have to listen to that garbage? It's just utter nonsense what he's talking about.